So I guess the way I'm going to start this one is with um, how everything got started to get where I'm at right now, and that is I started working at 15 years old, um, left school at 16 to work full time, and since then um, I've been working nonstop. 37 now so yeah the last 21 years has been a lot of it uh, but about 15 years ago um, I got into truck driving and I did overhaul for or on a long haul for a few uh, for a few months about seven seven eight months before I had to leave that um, because we had, we had my daughter, of which, because of that work, I ended up missing her first birthday. Um, two years later, we had my two boys. And not long after that, I ended up being a single parent to the three. So for the last 11 years, I've been taking care of them trying to keep a roof over their heads, food in their mouths, clothes on their body, and I just don't, I don't know, I, I, I it was, it was great, uh, a little over a year ago, got all my credit cleaned up, we got in a really good situation, um, good enough to finally get a house, no more apartments, no more, you know, trying to find the next place we gotta move, um, in a town that the kids actually really like you know they all got friends this round you know the last place we were at which wasn't too far from here uh, my boys were really struggling to get and keep friends there they had a lot of problems in the school but we moved out here everything was looking awesome uh, for the first few months and then work started work started fallen pretty good uh, to the point we were we were out of work for a little over a month and the work that came back was really slow um, we'd have days where yep I did work 12 or 14 hours which that's that's my usual um, but I started freelancing after we moved as well to do voiceovers and video editing and stuff like that and you know, those first couple of months that work was going good, um, truck driving, I didn't have too much. I had a few orders here and there. And then after, well, just before the work crashed, I started getting a ton of work, um, for the voiceovers and all that stuff. So it was looking pretty good. You know, I was working all week, uh, over 20 hours a day. Um, so when I was a truck driver, I had a little bit of time to spend with the kids. Uh, after I started doing both, I had just about none. I, you know, I'd come home from work, um, make them food, see what was going on, get everybody ready to go for for bed and then I'd go to do the freelancing work and I'd work all night doing that get an hour or so asleep maybe and then go again so I did that for a while until it got to the point where I just it was it was too it was too risky to do both um, so while work was still continuing to kind of stay down a little bit when I was truck driving and this other one was taken off to where I had too much work to do. I was falling behind on orders and you know all that and I thought you know it's too dangerous for me to do it so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and hop out of the truck and just pursue freelancing which did great. It did overly great. 
I got tons of orders and got to the point where I was behind almost all the time trying to get these things out and that that damaged me in the search results so after that work just kind of it just well, it didn't kind of tanked there there was times where I wasn't working for a week or so or at least putting out those voiceovers so it was all just me trying to find ways to get my voice out there so even though I wasn't working for the money I was working to get myself back out there and eventually that that started working you know I started coming back up and pay at that time it was just it was just too late by the time it started coming back up it's around ten thousand dollars behind uh, just on the house alone um, and that was with me finding various jobs and stuff to do to try to keep keep money uh, rolling in but to that point you know everything's everything's been coming up again and looking gold but those foreclosure papers came they came last week um, the insurance lapsed because I couldn't fix the damage to the roof This week, found out we had water damage. A boy walked into his room and the ceiling collapsed onto his bed. And I'm not gonna have that covered, so I gotta figure out how to fix that. Uh, long story short, I'm just asking if there's a way for, well, if you're able to help in any way, either uh, the GoFundMe page or sharing, uh, retweeting wherever you end up seeing this. And even, even if not that, if you have any kind of uh, editing work you need done, um, absolutely reach out to me on I'll leave I'll leave a link to where most of my work goes through on Fiverr but uh, just anything will help I, I I really can't see moving them moving them again so if I can keep this house I'm trying it, to reach out to any extent to get you know to get help uh, this is you know the GoFundMe thing I started a few months ago and it looked kind of good the first day or two and then everything cut off I tried everything I could to wave people down and it didn't work so this is one more go at seeing what I can get for help so if you can I would appreciate it more than anything and my kids would be happy to not have to move so make it through the rest of it so All I'm asking for is just just enough help so where I can get caught back up and I mean after that point I'll know more than anything that we can we won't have we won't have to worry about this again in the future no matter what so uh, if you can it would be greatly appreciated if not if you can share and uh, thank you for watching the video have a good rest of your day. Bye.